am using logwood purple. Actually, it's logwood gray. But you can use logwood purple. The difference between logwood purple and logwood gray is logwood gray has iron added to the dye to stabilize it and it increases its light fastness. Logwood purple is just the straight logwood extract without the iron more than added to it. Now, what I'm doing here is I have my grass pattern that I laid down first. The fabric has been curing. I have not removed the gum trichocanth. And as a result, the gum trichocanth is going to act as a resist to the fresh dye that I'm putting down onto the silk charmeuse. And I will keep building up layers like this on the fabric until I get a piece of cloth that I'm satisfied with. And I can change the orientation of my bird pattern here by simply flipping my screen around. I'm not too worried about proper placement on here because I want it to look more organic but you could draw out grids and stuff and put registration lines on your screen to have a more controlled pattern. And there's nothing wrong with doing that. Here in my fabric, some of the fabric is actually puckering and I'm going to use that to my advantage. In the final analysis, when this is done, a lot of the puckers and stuff that occur on the fabric will be barely, barely noticeable. So when I wash this fabric, in the areas where the, the pink that you see on here is really thick, it's going to block the purple. And what will happen is the this purple area will wash and this pink area will wash and you will see a pink stripe through the bird. Gum trichocanth, when it hardens, behaves much like a glue. I'm merely dragging this back across my fabric about five, six times. And that will give me a nice dark color when I wash this. It's going to come out a light purple color. It's not going to be as dark as what you're seeing on the fabric now. If I wanted it to be this dark when I was done, I would have to make my extract stronger which would in effect make my dye that I have here in my pot, in my little container, darker to the point of almost looking like it's black. Remember when you wash your fabric and it's had the natural dyes on it, you, sh you should experience a, m a minimum of 30% color loss. So if this color of purple came out as a lavender, I would not be surprised in the least. That would I would definitely expect that on cotton fabric or linen fabric. On a silk fabric, you know, I expect a 30% loss. On cotton, at least 50%, sometimes more. Depends on the density of the fabric. If it's a very sheer cotton, like a voile, then you will not experience as much color loss. Um, and I think the same can be said for the uh, silk fabrics, like a silk du piani is going to have a much greater color loss than say the silk charmeuse or a chiffon or a crepe de chine. I recommend doing samples, taking notes on your fabric, make yourself fat quarter pieces, a piece of fabric 18 inches by 24 inches, and write on the fabric with a sharpie or a laundry marker what you did to the fabric and the percentage of dye that you used. I know that approximately I've used two teaspoons, and they're heaping teaspoons, of the logwood gray to get this purple. And that was probably mixed with about one cup of gum tragacanus. So take notes, do samples, do some practicing. It'll be well worth it in the long run. 
Um, and just above all else, remember to have fun. If you wash this and it comes out too light, you can always go back into it and add more color to your fabric.